Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Puzzle with Castle of Dr. Brain. Right, we need to figure out robot humor. I need to see what's so special about the way a robot plant grows. Uh, well, let's uh, see. It has square roots. What kind of computer does a dairy farmer use? Um, I think I know that one. It's uh, a, calc a calculator. Why do robots always take the longest path between two points? Well, a D to avoid short circuits. What do robot rabbits do best? A hey, multiply! So with enough riddles, the robot thinks you're their, you're their kind of humanoid. Door opens. I'm in a room filled with spare robot parts. The room is dominated by a large glass case containing a simple maze. A robot torso is attached to one end of the maze. You also see a computer console and a table near the front of the room. As you enter the room, the three robot heads on the shelf begin to speak. You know that Dr. Brain has created three models of robots. One kind is programmed to always tell the truth, another kind always lies, and a third model ultimately lies and tell, uh, tells the truth and lies. I am programmed to always follow instructions precisely. I am face also follows instructions precisely. I am programmed to follow, always follow instructions precisely. Saucer head never follows orders correctly. I am programmed to always follow instructions precisely. I am the only precise order follower here. Each of these robot heads is obviously a different model. Only a truth-telling head will follow your program precisely. The lying head will always do the opposite of what you tell it. And the confused head will alternatively follow your instructions or do the reverse of them. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Right, so... The box contains a maze attached to the back. Is a robot also a smooth sheet of stiff plastic. Large blue book. Mm. Alright, well, I'll have to uh, figure that out. However, this head always follows the instructions precisely. So that's what we'll use. Alright, so the blue box. Let's see, um, this is a dart gun. Lightweight, smooth surface object. No. There's a miniature forklift. Alright, that's what I need for a hand. Alright, so I want to grab the book first, and I need to tell it directions. Now, this console allows me to program the IMA robot with sophisticated high level Robocomp programming language. The commands you enter can be saved to a magnetic data card for remote use. The triangle keys program the robot hand to move in the indicated direction. The on key allows you to activate the current hand's primary function, while off turns the function off. Use the ints and del to add or remove lines of code from to or from your program. The up and down arrow keys on the left side of the display allow you to inspect or change lines of your program. The clear button deletes your entire program from memory. Use it with caution. You save to print your program to the data card for use in the remote hook. Coin for some program instructions. You'll only charge one hint coin for as many times as you care to read the hint text. If you're using a keyboard type Q for a list of key mappings. Well, that was not pretty needed. Alright, so I need you to go left one, up one, and right one, turn on, and go back left right, down one, go left two. Up two, right one, up one, uh, right one, up, turn off, all right, safe. Let's see if I got it right. One more up. All right, 
Alright, so I need to insert... Right, um, turn on, move right, move back, move left, move left. Move forward, move forward. Right, insert... Save that. Let's try that again. Yay! Got it in two. Item delivered. You see the blue book in the pocket. Pick it up. Right. Uh, next on the list is the plastic clue sheet. All right, All right. that's fine. Let's, see. Um, let's put on the hand. All right, so we need to get rid of all the beginning of the stuff. Turn on, right, back, left. Three times forward, right, right, insert a another right, insert a power on, and insert a left, right, save that. I can make this easier by dropping in hint coins to actually see what I'm doing. But let's try to avoid doing that. Alright, so insert another uh, move right. Save. Luckily the thing goes a lot faster after the first thing. Ah crap. gonna be finicky the whole way, aren't you? Alright, turn on, insert, another move left. Always save the data. That's a step I sometimes forget. But... Alright, forward, hand turned on. The item has been delivered. I see the plastic clue sheet in the pocket and pick it up. And that has destroyed the head. Well, isn't that fantastic? Well, let's put on the magnet. Now I have to pick which other head to use. I don't know. The jokes are quite funny sometimes. <laughs> Here this this electrolyte contains the remains of a robot's cookie. That's funny. You thought the robots only like chips. I'll go with the lying head. Alright, so now I have to do everything in reverse. Joy of joys. Alright, so I want you to move uh, left one. Then forward three times. Then uh, move right twice. Move forward twice. I think. Uh, right once. Turn off. That one. Then move uh, right three times. Uh, two times is probably enough. Move forward and then turn on again. Alright, safe. Let's see how close I got. Ooh. One too many. Alright. 
That's close, though. Alright, so... Iron plaque in the pocket and pick it up. And another elevator maze. Alright, this one will be slightly trickier. Yeah. Alright, let's go up. Up again. Forward. Up. This doesn't go anywhere, it's right, so down again. It's gotta be something I missed then. Either. Go up. Go down. Eyes on the door, I think. Well, we're close enough. Ish. arrived. This is the third floor hallway, the language hall. This is it's a rubber tree. These can be very useful if you fall off a high cliff. They are much less useful inside a castle. Indeed they are. Right. This is a word search puzzle. Find words of four or more letters relating to sports and games in the grid. Select the words by dragging the mouse from the jet uh, from the first to the last letter of each word. Using the keyboard, highlight the first letter of the word, press enter, highlight the last letter, press enter again. Yeah, we'll use the mouse for this. All of the words are on a straight line, either horizontally, diagonally, or vertically in any direction. Many of the letters are used in more than one word. There are 25 words altogether. A list can be found in the game manual. Yeah, that's basically all the Dr. Brain's Ultra Top Secret Decoder Grid has a lot of sports on there, which turns out to be just about 25. Now we should be able to find at least 22 of the 25. We have located zero words. Let's go find the balls! Alright, so... I can already see chess. Let's see cribbage. Um, billiards. Still haven't found any balls. Let's see, tic tac toe, golf, football, and let's see, jacks. What else? Uh, let's see, bait, no, baseball. Getting us 
slightly harder as I move further in, but let's keep going. Let's see, is there any ones? Let's try to get some H words. Have we got any H's? Alright, 
one left to go. What haven't I found yet? Baseball, basketball, backgammon? Did I get backgammon yet? Uh, no, I don't think I have backgammon yet. Well, there it is. Yay! Better found for sports and games. You can hear a swish and another click as the wood slides into another puzzle. Right. Words which were hidden in the word search puzzle are in a list to the right side of the puzzle on display. Highlight one of the words and then click on the line with the same number of letter spaces. When all the words are correctly filled, the vertical line will spell a phrase describing the words you used. You can use the hint coin to put in the next word that you are missing or have wrong. Well, that's possible only because I've been uh, gathering hint coins for every puzzle I solve correctly. But well, let's focus on the task at hand. Alright, so this puzzle uh, was initially impossible for me because I had no idea what they were looking for. The game doesn't give you any clue. Now, of course, it is a little bit cheating because I uh, actually have finished this game. So I know the answer. But anyway, I know that this uh, five set of word below, that's the word games. So I just need to find words that spell that. Right, so this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 that's a word. And the fifth letter is a G. Back, yep. Alright, nine letter word. Fifth letter is an A. Billiards? No, that's not right. Um, it's got to be an A in the middle. Seven letter word with the third letter an M. Seven letter word. Oops, no. Dominoes. And lastly, an eight letter word with the third letter is an E. Checkers. Yep, that's correct. Right, and now I have to figure out whatever word could fit, possibly fit in this row. Now, I will never figure this out for the life of me, but I know the answer, so let's just focus on that. Admittedly, not my finest work, but I will. I just want can pass this puzzle to the more interesting puzzles. Right, so P, the next one is an A on the third letter. In a six letter word. Six letter word. A. Alright, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a word. With the second letter is a R. Cribbage. Alright, and nine letter word, where the second letter is an L. Blackjack. A five letter word, second letter is an O. Bowling. No, it's not five letters. Pay attention. Uh, hockey, six letters. Poker. And another six letter word where the second letter is an R. Paula Games! Yay! I've solved both uh, search and acrostic puzzles. Proving yourself to be an expert at word games. Uh, 
Uh, oh well. Thank you for watching. See you all.